Good morning, you two. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, Marky. And we're starting this off with happy 80th birthday to Bob Sparbell. Hey, and Bob. Uh, yeah, happy birthday. And I, we, that's the one we sent him the, we sent him the uh, little birthday present. Yeah. And uh, he sent me an email and uh, I would like to talk to him. I'm gonna give him my phone number and see if we can hook up and talk for a little while. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching our channel and I hope you had a good birthday, which was yesterday was yesterday the fifth. So we are at the 6th, which is Saturday. Uh, we got some super thanks, or we got a super thanks. Uh, Brent X Motorsports, thank you so much yeah, for supporting the channel. And uh, we'll get into another topic here in a minute. But first, we got, we got, he sent us three. Yeah. Some keychains. And uh, these are made out of deer antlers. And I'm going to put the keys to the sawmill on mine. And I've got keys to put on it. I'm going to do it when I get in the truck. And this is from Bill Rich. Thanks, Bill. And uh, nice. all right, Bill, you're going to be on YouTube. There you go. There's Bill with his man glitter shirt. Uh, he built this uh, woodshed. Look how nice that is. And uh, boy, you're welcome to come out anytime and help us build a structure. Yes. That is beautiful. And there's uh, there it is, full of wood. And I think I got one stuck together here. Oh, there it is. With more wood in it. Beautiful job. Good Beautiful job. job. And thank you so much for the keychains. And there's one for ZZ Mark when he gets back. Yeah. When he gets out. He gets out. Yeah, yeah when he's been ZZ. In. Yeah, he's been, he's been in. <laughs> and uh, someone had commented, where do we get our music from? Uh, well, we, we got, so far two people had uh, Given us music, uh, Ben Key Heed from Sweden. Check him out on YouTube, Ben Key 1000. Uh, he is a great blues guitarist. Yeah, uh, they, they go out and play clubs and stuff, and he has some nice videos on there. And also, David Gordy, um, he's, a, he's from the US. I'm not sure exactly where David's from, but he has wrote us probably, I'm gonna say five pieces. Yes. Yeah. And uh, people really like the music uh, in it. So, anybody that has any music talent and you want to set us up with like a theme song, uh, we will be glad to give you guys a shout out and use it on our videos. Um, we are looking for some different, uh, different variety, uh, more of a more of a country, uh, bluesy, you know that type of thing. Uh, if anybody watches Diesel Crick uh, on YouTube, uh, he had a band do some intro music for him. It was just it's beautiful. He, they did a really nice job. So, anyhow, enough of that. What are we doing today? Aspen. Aspen? Okay. Two by eights. Nothing fancy. All right. Uh, and I put new saw bits in the saw. Oh, yes. And you probably already seen that video already. Um, so we're going to see how much better it saws. I put some hard chromes in it. It should be better. It should be better. But the blade does need some work done to it. So uh, we're anxiously awaiting our new blade. And also, I got to check the uh, RPM on it mandrel before we quit today. I brought my tachometer and let's check that out because uh, BH Payne wants to know the exact speed we are spinning the saw at in order to make ah, it correctly yeah. for us. Well, so. that's good. Well, this ain't getting it done. All right, let's get going. All right, let's get things fired up here, everybody. And we got some new saw bits in the saw. Eddie's getting the blade going. And I'm gonna cut some aspen. Some pretty big stuff. But we gotta get four four by tens. So let's get this bad boy up here. I need no 
taper on this log. It's just big enough. with the new chrome bits. Alright. A little bit of rot going on there, but we established an opening face on this thing. So, let me park right here. I'm going to put this down on the head blocks. Loving this loose bark. All right. We're trying to get down to our magic number here because I can't facet solve this because we're getting. We're trying to get something very specific out of it. Yeah, we're not going to worry about tapering this thing at all. The other side had to swell in it anyway. of it then we got this log more or less lick let me see where i'm out of my little lines i have drawn we're pretty close let's just go ahead and give it one more set here I want it all too by 
See what happens when people just start jabbing chainsaws in a pile of logs. You see that water come out of that back, wow. All right, let's go for a parallel. take them off a little bit at a time everybody to get them um, some room all right and we're going to turn it back to the knees after this cut That's going to make a little bit of a boom. And he's pulling it out of the way so it don't get jammed in there like...
do the same thing. I'm going to try to suck it back with the dogs. Let's double check where we're at for us. Anything moving? This is it. We're getting down to our final almost 10. And that'll put us right in right on the back side will be better in the pit, the way it's looking here. Alright. And we'll take a shim off after this. And he said, these are big logs. He was right. Okay, let's just stop the carries, let them get their fingers out of the way. We're going to be doing some edging on here. It's a little fuzzy. Okay, let's go down to our final 10. A little bit of man glitter here, everybody. There it is. Man glitter time. Now I'm going to reverse the knees. We're going to lay this down. I'm going to take it down. I'd like to correct that side a little bit first. All right. Dogs in. Dogs down. Looking for Mr. Laser. There he is. I'm going to take a shim off of there because I can get some 2 by off of there. So let me just take that mark off. i got to get down to 16 and 3 quarter. See that water just chasing that blade? That looks a lot better. We're going to edge these down to two inches. We're down to eight inches, rather. Let's cut four by tens coming up here in a minute. All right, let's get down to our 16 and three quarter. I see a lot of, oh man, that's going to be bad for that beam, but oh well. That's what we have to work with. Alright, 16 and 3 quarter for our first set. That could be in a worse place. Hopefully he don't need the full length of these things, but that's what we got to work with. Okay, let's go to 12 and a half. Oh, that's pretty darn close. You gotta watch when you're sawing thick stuff, it don't pinch back on your uh, splitter. Well, we're getting past at least all that rot. And we're not worried about sawing through pit. I just needed the bulk. So it's going to need eight and a quarter now. All right. Some edging, and then we're gonna let you go. 
just paying attention to other things I shouldn't be here, everybody. Alright, four, four inches. And that should do it. that out of the way I'm gonna reverse the knees a little bit so that when I release the dogs it don't go slamming out on Eddie's fingers I think he's gonna edge this stuff off right now anyway I'm gonna take it down eight inch Nice to have new teeth in the saw. All right, it's the end of the video. And guess what? Look what we got. So there it is. We got kitty cats living in our sawdust pit. And they were in a safe place because the blade is way over there. We covered them up with this canvas here. And you know, no small kitties were harmed in the filming no. of this video. We're putting them up for adoption if they make it. Yeah, if you're from this area, Imperial, Pennsylvania, uh, look us up. Uh, you can email me at markalisi at verizon.net. And once these cats are old enough to be on their own, we'll be glad to give them a new home. Well, I don't know how good you can see this. We're sort of in the dark here. But yeah, the new saw bits. Um, let's go over to the pile of lumber we had sawed today. And we're on the back side of the carriage today. And... And there's where all the magic happens in the set works box and all the bad things happen too <laughs> so let's get out of here yeah i come up to put the saw bits in this morning and I'm looking down the saw pit and i seen black and white and i says oh i hope it's not skunks but they were kittens so there it is. That's what we saw today. We, we, saw, we, we made two videos. We only cut two logs today. Uh, it's a nice day. It's going to be really beautiful weather. And, uh, but yeah, th these are 4 by 10s Aspen. And, and then 2 by 8 Aspen. Almost, this almost really looked like poplar. And, uh, it, it, ha it had more of that poplar green to it. But you can see the fuzziness it to it. in a family. Yeah, but you can see the uh, fuzziness to it. Now, them are brand new like saw bits poplar. too. But, uh, all right, everybody. Hey, thanks for coming along. And again, uh, we said on the beginning of the video, if anybody writes music, um, try to come up with a theme song and we'll have some sort of a contest of, um, yeah. well, you know, well. let everybody pick the best. Yeah, and it would be cool good. to have a little a theme song for our channel. So, all right, thanks again. Thanks for coming along and we'll catch you on the next Thank one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm,